And in fact, there's just really good relationships between a swell index test and a hydraulic conductivity. We can run a swell index test for conventional bentonite and get a very good sense for whether the, what the hydraulic conductivity of the bentonite is going to be in the GCL. And, and this one's normalized. Professors are always trying to make graphs by dividing things to make them normalized. Uh, but you could just put hydraulic conductivity versus swell index here, and you get the same graph. It's remarkable. All these different chemistries, one graph relating swelling. Swells a lot, very impervious, doesn't swell very much, very conductive, right? Highly permeable, low swell, high swell, nearly impervious. Uh, and so we can use that, that, that swell index as a, as a really good measure of uh, how bentonite reacts with a particular leachate and the hydraulic conductivity that we're going to get. Just to illustrate this with some data, the types of behavior we get, this is just illustrates different types of solutions. We have deionized water over here, or distilled water, hydraulic conductivity of a GCL, right where we'd expect about two or three times 10 to the minus nine centimeters per second with deionized water, almost universal you know, for conventional bentonite. It's right in there. We run that same test and we run it with a dilute calcium chloride solution. We go from up almost a factor of 10 because we have calcium chloride and it doesn't swell as much with the divalent calcium. In fact, as we increase the concentration of the calcium, the hydraulic conductivity really goes up, right? Um, we do the same experiment with monovalent cations, calcium, potassium, or sodium, we get something quite different. These induce a lot of swell, a lot of osmotic swell, and we get very low hydraulic conductivity. So depending on the geochemistry, even with the same concentration, you get something that's fundamentally different, one that's very impervious with the things like sodium and things where we are very permeable. So you might think of what type of leachates fit here, what type of leachates fit here. Any leachate, we get it concentrated enough, though, we get off in the, in the high zone, right? It's really high. 